things. What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. This video is gonna be like a dedicated video about something that I've been getting a lot of questions on. This story that I'm about to tell you guys, I've told it in a few different videos and a few different kind of segments. There's some stuff in here that I haven't really shared before. And because I've been sharing a lot of stuff about my business, about my career, and a lot of you guys have just been asking me like, how did you do it? I decided that this topic needed its own dedicated video. So we're just gonna get started about my career transformation story. I started as, it's just an average kid. So in high school I was, pretty good at things. I wasn't really super outcasted, but I also wasn't super in the popular crowd. I was like mediocre at most things. I was like pretty good at school, but I wasn't really like the best at anything. But the recurring theme in my high school and college career as well was that I just tried really hard. Like I always wanted to do my absolute best regardless of whether or not I was the best at it. So like I was never the best at sports, but I always just tried really hard because I liked it and I liked to challenge myself. And that was something that's kind of been a recurring factor in my life. So same thing in college. I wasn't like a super duper outcast or anything, but I never really felt like I fit in with my peers that well because I was always someone that constantly liked to challenge themselves physically. Like I always loved the gym. I always would choose the gym over going out for like the most part, not every single time, but I always like kind of went back to like bettering myself physically and bettering myself mentally as opposed to like the college normal thing was to just go out and party all the time and say like, screw it, I'm gonna be in the real world once college is over and these are the best years of my life, so I have to have the most fun as possible. I was like, no, I wanna like build a solid foundation for my life, like I'm like starting my life now, like life doesn't start after college. So that was always a recurring theme for me. So the problem that I faced when I was first picking a career, when I was like, we're all like 18, 19, picking a career for the first time, right? Like you have to decide on what your major is gonna be, you have to figure out your whole entire life before you even get into college. That process for me was more so just finding some that matched my personality. So I like to help people, pretty good at science. And I figured that nursing was a great career and everybody in my family told me that it was a good career choice. It was a sustainable. There's always gonna be a need for nurses and the medical career is really respectable. I had that outside social pressure to do that as well. And along with that, I just, I got into my school for in-state tuition and the program was really good. So it just made sense. I was deciding, I was using, I was making that decision because it just made sense. I didn't decide on that because I was super passionate about it. I didn't decide on that because it was something that I absolutely had the desire to do all throughout when I was a kid. It just, it just kind of made sense. And I was like, sure, that works. <laughs> and what I, the reason why I didn't go with business or marketing or entrepreneurship, which is what I'm all about now, is just because like I was never exposed to that as a kid. I never was exposed to people that were doing their own thing, that were entrepreneurs. I never even knew what that word meant. I just, I knew that it was a word and I knew that people did it, but I didn't make the connection as to what it actually was. I was like, uh, people work for themselves. I don't know, like I just didn't know anything. Very naive <laughs> at that point. And on the other hand as well, I never knew what I was passionate about until I got into the fitness community. So you know how everyone always says, do what makes you happy, do what you love, and that's how you go about picking your career. I didn't have that and it was always really frustrating to me because I was like, I don't know what that thing is. When I first got into the fitness community, I was sharing everything on social media and like finding those people that just loved it as much as I did. And I was like, this is what I'm passionate about. So during college, I was waitressing a little bit during college, again, full-time nursing student. And throughout that, I was sharing my journey with fitness and nutrition on social media, I was showing workouts, I was showing what I was eating. And from that, there was just a huge demand for me to start an online coaching business because people were just asking me for it. They were asking me like, please help me. Like you seem to be smart and knowledgeable. I need your help, I need your knowledge. So I just decided like, you know what? I'm gonna take the plunge. I'll take a few clients. I'm part-time because I'm still in school. I just decided to do it. During that time, I was doing two different things at this point. I was focusing on my nursing career, but I was also focusing on building my brand on social media and online coaching. I wanna ask you guys a question. Have you ever done this before? Or do you feel like that now? Like, do you feel like you're you're doing your regular job and you're you're not fulfilled? Not to say regular, I just mean like, like a different job or a different career. And then you feel like there's this other thing on the other side where you're just like, I would love to do this, but I feel like I can't, or I just feel like I don't know how, or I feel like I'm giving half of my time to it. So that's what I felt like. I realized that I was giving half of my time to two different things and I wasn't 
wasn't getting any results. I was giving half of my attention to nursing, half of it to online coaching, and at the end of the day, like neither of those two things were thriving. Around this time, it was actually like the perfect time for this to happen. I came across a book called The One Thing by Gary Keller, and I read that book during this time, and literally it's called The One Thing, and I was doing two different things. And the book talks about having your one thing that's your main hustle, your main grind. You can have other things that connect back to it, but you need just one thing. You can't be focusing on more than one thing at a time, or else you're never gonna get anywhere. And I was like, <laughs> mind blown over here. And funny enough, I even have a YouTube video that I made a little bit over a year ago. I put it out on December 6, 2015. It's called Pursue Passion, Find Happiness that goes through this whole like thought process that I'm kind of reiterating to you guys now, but I'm talking to you guys about this after the fact. So now is gonna become this, the part of my story that's really like the epiphany moment. So I graduated nursing school, I moved to California, I had a surgical center job, I was studying for my NCLEX, but at the same time, I was focusing on my online business and focusing on growing my YouTube channel, growing my social media. I was doing like 100 to 200 practice questions a day, or I was supposed to be doing that. I think I did that in the beginning of the summer, but towards the end, I was just like, trying so hard to focus on those practice questions to pass my NCLEX. The NCLEX is the nursing board exam that you have to pass in order to become a nurse. In order to do that, that's how you are able to safely practice nursing. So I have my degree, but I wasn't able to be a nurse yet. You have to take that exam, but studying for that thing is a full-time job. So I would spend time like answering client emails all day. I would spend hours editing YouTube videos and I was just so focused and it was because it was so fun. Like I love doing it and I was like, this is the, like awesome. Like I'm editing a video about my life, my workouts, and like it's I'm what I'm passionate about. And then by like 11.30 p.m. I'd be like, I have to do practice questions. <sighs> and I was just so, I literally like the feels that are coming back to me right now was just so frustrating. I could not do it. Like I could not get myself to open up that practice question exam. Like I opened up the tab for a few minutes. I did like two or three questions. And then I, and then I went to a different tab and I was like, I can't do this. Like I could not do it. So as I was doing that, I realized like there was just so much resistance. And with that, I honestly, like there was a point in time where I just decided like, I am not gonna be a nurse anymore. I cannot keep doing this. Even though that's the career path that my trajectory was on, there's something else that's sustaining me. And there's something else that's making me way more happy. So the moment that I decided that, I felt this like big sigh of relief and my body relaxed. I smiled. I felt this, this huge weight lifted off my shoulders. And I was just like so happy that because I knew that I decided to, to take on my passion and to fulfill what I knew I was supposed to be on this earth for. I I was also just that much more hungry to make it work for myself because I was making just as much, if not more, than I would have been making as a nurse at that point. And I was like, you know what? Like if I commit myself to this 100% and give 100% instead of 50%, what could happen? Like what could happen if I do that? So in 2015, in my first year of business, it was like, half of the year I was in business because I graduated and I was doing it like basically part-time, I made a little bit under what I would have been making as a full-time nurse. And then this next year, 2016, I tripled my income. <laughs> Mind blown yet again. So here I am just so passionate about what I'm doing and some of the things that just truly made that difference for me was to number one, just decide, just make that decision and say like, you know what, I'm doing this. I also just looked for mentors, I looked for people to model what I wanted to do after, I looked for other influencers and tried to see what they were doing that was successful for them and then figure out how I can make it successful for myself. I put myself out there, I posted on Instagram that like, hey guys, I'm taking coaching clients, I'm so excited about it, I offered, I was making offers to people People via my email that were interested in what I was doing but like the main thing that I did I, I quit what I was doing I quit nursing although I had gone through four years of a bachelor's degree in a, something that was very very specific and I had gone through five months of studying for the NCLEX exam and then just not completing it I ended up actually taking it and not passing it because I was so not passionate about it that I just didn't care to study as hard as I needed to but th that was the main thing I just quit and I did it so by taking that time to just to work on my passions and build my social media and build my business I grew from 6,000 YouTube subscribers to 100,000 130,000 in less than a year I built my Instagram to over 400,000 people I have an amazing amazing community of people on my social media family like you guys right here watching this video like I love you guys and I've you guys have found me because you connect to me for some reason Reason. And I'm able to build that because I've spent the time to build my brand and build my personality here on YouTube and here on other social media platforms. And other things that I've done, like I said, I made my first year, I, I made like enough to pay my bills and that was just so, it made me so happy. Like I was just, I can pay my bills, I can live in California. Like I live in 
places that people go to vacation. I go to two gyms that people plan their vacations around, Barbell Brigade and Gold's Gym The Mecca. I'm confident with myself. I'm so happy all the time. I have these amazing, amazing friendships that people like long to have. Like I surround myself with people that inspire me to be better. I'm friends with people that I looked up to and admired back in the day when I was first starting to grow. People like Lane Norton, like he was like this amazing person that like helped me so much throughout life. And now Lane and I are, are best buds and he respects me and admires me just as much as I respect and admire him. I have relationships with people that I used to think were ahead of me and better than me and had a bigger following and were more successful. And those people now look at me as an equal. But honestly, the best thing about this whole process is that the messages that I get from you guys, the messages that I get from people telling me that I made that impact on them. Going back to the reason why I wanted to start nursing in the first place, I wanted to just help people. And figuring out how to do that through something that I'm passionate about, like fitness, content creating, all of the stuff that I'm doing now, it just it just makes me so, <laughs> so fulfilled. And you can see the smile on my face. Like a lot of you guys have been commenting that I've just been glowing lately and I am, like I'm so happy. So share this video with someone that you think might need to see it. Share this video with yourself. Like watch this video again to kind of get you motivated because I know that there's some people out there that are feeling the same thing. And I I wanna help inspire you guys to kind of take your own action and figure out your own life plan. I'm actually also releasing a bonus video this week. I usually have been doing three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but tomorrow I'm putting one out as well that's gonna go along with this. So if you guys liked this video and click that like button, you guys might wanna stay tuned for tomorrow's video as well. So smash the like button if you enjoyed it. And that's gonna be it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.